you're listening to it came from the radio you know it's dr feldy and i'm here with Kelda music aka the diva is a bay area hip-hop entertainer a musical recording artist the Taurus maybe born on april 20th or maybe late aries we'll have to find out for 20 <laughs> public speaker she's an actress overall media personality welcome to the show hello hello dr feldy thank you so much for having me Oh, thank you for coming out here. Pleasure is all mine. I've been moving and grooving to your music for about two two hours since yesterday. <laughs> joined. And now I was moving and grooving to your song, the part of the diva workout, get loose, get it together. Now, I found as a doctor that humans can be loose and freestyle smoothly when they have it all together. You get into that flow state. So what are some things that you do to get it together, fit? healthy so you can get loose as a performer or an artist yes so um in the morning like uh when I wake up first thing I do is stretch uh I do a little bit of um meditation and then I'm always playing with my weights I'm doing squats I'm doing um I'm doing lunges I'm you know doing arm lifting I'm just getting my heart rate going I'm busting a, a quick sweat and um, at the same time, you know, building muscle. So um, normally right before a show, I, I do the same thing, you know, work out a little bit. And then I drink my uh, Rise Mushroom Coffee. Uh, that right there is like the first or I would say the best caffeinated drink I've had in a long time that does not give you the jitters, headaches or make you crash or anything like that. Um, I drink just a cup of that and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go on stage. I'm ready to go engage. I'm ready to do everything that I need to do as the diva. All right. I'm gonna have to, do you sell this? Uh, uh, no, no, actually rise. Um, it's spelled R Y Z. I know all about rise. Okay. I, well, that I, my rise. friend Jennifer actually, uh, she did a little a little application. She was asked to uh do some advertisements for them. She's quite familiar, but never tried the product. Yeah, I gotta try yeah. it. Yes, yes, I uh I've collaborated with them. They sent me the product, and nice. um I still need to do like an actual promo for them. But I I've taken pictures with it and you know written captions like this is why you guys need to start your morning with Rise. Um, well, right yeah, now you basically so did it. Yeah, I you know, got the right? rise. You got the workout, and coordination workouts are quite good because they help connect ideas and get that cerebellum, cerebral cortex, the prefrontal cortex going and fired and lightening. So you're doing all the right things before a show. Now, what things throw you off from having it all together? Where you got to get together? Yeah. Oh gosh, a lot of things throw you off. Um, oh god. Um, sometimes just you know feeling a little sluggish. You know what I mean? Under the weather. Or um, what I try to do, like when I tour, I don't eat heavy foods. All I'm eating is salad. I'm eating salad and drinking water. You know, there's nothing worse than being on the plane, you know, um, touring or traveling internationally. And you just ate this fat burger and, uh, you know, a big, a big can of soda or whatever. I like to travel lightly when I eat. So I'm always just drinking water, salad. Because I've had some incidents be incidences before where <laughs> I've eaten something really heavy before I got on the plane. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I've been you know there. I, mean? I was there earlier for sure because I'll do what's called like feast or famine. So like two to five days a week, I'll stuff my face and I'll go to bed and I sleep well because I'm like a bear, right? But then yeah. I get up and I'm like in a bitchy mood for like the first three hours and I'm not coming alive until like three o'clock. Because you're just yep. digesting. You feel like crap. So, yeah, yeah. if you got to perform that raw food diet, keeps you up, up, up. Yes, That's definitely. Right. Yeah. And um, I totally agree with that. And, uh, you know, and drinking water is just so important. Like, I don't want to risk drinking juice or soda or anything like that. I just I just keep it clean. Um, so, yeah, those, those are some of the challenges. Um, and then... Um, just obviously normal, regular hiccups, like, okay, where did my flash drive go? Okay, I'm missing something in my bag, you know, and now you got to go to the store to buy, um, you know, a new phone charger, new flash drive, whatever the case is. Um, just as long as I don't lose my phone and my credit cards, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. 
So that's, you're not that high maintenance. I'm pretty high maintenance. Now, hopefully this is a compliment because you kind of remind me of Gloria Gaynor, which I've been listening a lot to lately. Uh, an old classic musician. She has the song, one song, I'll be there. And there's a horse rap. You got to just listen to it. But she's a powerful woman like yourself and uh, just very positive. So I, I, I'm a doctor, but I was actually just hired to dance for a big fireman's yearly award commemoration ceremony event. I'm not a dancer, but wow. I, I guess someone saw something in me. So I could 100% see people dancing to your music, especially the workout music on the dance floor. Get loose, get loose. It's very catchy. Now, Thank how you. did you learn how to make such dancey and catchy tunes? Yeah, so um, I work with a very talented producer, Mr. Robot Millennium. Shout out to him. Uh, together, we were just doing a lot of writing and we were thinking, okay, cool, let's, let's try to think of you know, Afro beats, um, electronic dance music, um, just something that's upbeat and fun that people will just zone out to. And you have to think about it, when you work out, what, what music makes you want to keep going? What increases your workout? What helps you uh, break, break a sweat? And it's dance music. You totally, you listen to it and you're gone. You zone out and you're just going with the beat. It's no better than being in the club, right? Same thing. When everyone is just like really hot and sweaty and, um, you know, listening to the music and they're just, they're, they're just gone. So that's why I created the Diva Workout and Get Loose is the, the featured single. And we did a music video for that. And I just gathered a couple of friends and models. I said, hey, who wants to do a workout video with me? Because we're going to create a movement here. And we're still working on it, too. We're, we have a lot more um, videos to create. And I have a lot more dance songs to make pertaining to that. So um, anything. Still to... with the dance. Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all about it. anything healthy, anything that promotes working out, all about it. You said that I'll promote the crap out of that. And also you're speaking and rap music is good too. All types of layered beats, you know, very versatile mm -hmm. artists for sure. But no you. country, right? Do you do any country music? No country, not yet. Uh, but Beyonce has definitely opened the door for uh, a lot of uh, urban artists to uh, kind of make that transition or to at least include that in our music so um you never know it's funny there's not a female rapper who's dabbled into country quite yet so that would be a new one and uh you never know what the future might hold <laughs> i got a country song i actually wrote a little a little sample of Ooh. it's uh it's about it's about it's, a, it's another time but we'll focus on you i'm not gonna sing to you right now oh, i got a whole bunch you know, of I music love to hear it. <laughs> i can see you a little sample ready it's gonna take me like 20 seconds, so stand by. All right. Do 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 and that repeats a few times, so we're gonna speed it up. I whip my wife and Margarita Vale. I told her you be still and I'm married on my way. That's a song about the time I left my wife. In Margaritaville, I told her, you be still, and then I'm married on my way. So if you ever got to leave a wife, you just leave her there in Margaritaville, like, marry on way. So we're going to go back to you now. All right. All right. Like now, it. what are your songs? Thank you. Thank you. We're just a work in progress. Work in progress. Not a professional like you. Now, what are your songs? Is called Mind Sex. Very specific question. Maybe, maybe hypothetical, maybe true. Now, let's say you had this specific mental connection with someone. Um... But it, there wasn't really much of a mental connection, but you like their physical and you like their abilities and other things. But mental just just don't seem to get on that wavelength. Would you still be able to have a desire for a sexual relations? No, because I think sex is all mental first. You have to be mentally attracted to someone and it has to be mentally mutual. And that's how you get to the physical part. You know, once the mental has processed and you're you're good with it, then your body processes it automatically. It's no better than how, you know, obviously the brain is what 
tells us what to do, right? Like if you burn yourself, your brain is what sends your body the message and you react to it, right? So the same thing when it comes to mind sex, it, it starts up here and then everything else, it sends the message everywhere else. So um, I definitely believe that people have mental sex. <laughs> hey, I got a follow-up question for that. A specific. So now let's say you ask this person a question where you're like, I like the way you look. I respect what you do in this world. Now let's ask you some questions, get to know what you say. You ask a deep philosophical question and their common response at least three times is, oh, I don't know. And then they look at their phone. What would, would you do? Would you have sex with them? Would you overlook that and say, well, I like their look. I like other things they do. Maybe they do charity work. Would you be able to get past that? No, it has no. to be, it has to be a connection right then and there. We have to be eye to eye. We have to have some understanding. When someone is distracted by something else, that means you're not going to be totally focused. And when you're not totally focused, it's just not going to turn out right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and, and really that goes with anything, right? If we're holding a conversation and the whole time I'm on my phone and you're asking me questions and I'm just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, okay, well, bye. Right. I'll <laughs> so, just walk away. Exactly. So same thing um, with, you know, with mind sex and having a mental connection, you want someone who's going to mentally engage with you and someone who's just going to kind of see right through you and understand you. Um, rather than being distracted by something and just not, you know what I mean, giving you the fulfillment right. you need. So, um, and I think that's what like a lot of people don't realize today is that you have to have some type of mental connection. And anyone could be attracted to anything. But like they say, though, what's the old saying? Don't judge a book by its cover, right? right? right. Because that could be the best looking guy in the room. But when you take him home to the bedroom, that doesn't match up to what he looks like when you first seen him in public. So um, I always suggest study people, talk to people. If there's a conversation there, then there's a connection, there's a start. And that could just lead to other things. Right. I actually recommend my patients to study potential sexual partner for at least 10 years because over 10 years you'll know if they can say the difference between yours and yours they know what they eat you know everything about them and after 10 years they might even be dead then you'll have to have sex with them in the first place now back to your <laughs> show now on your show you have a show diva talk and yes. i saw you did a comical segment where you switched genders now you present as a lady diva what things would you do more if you were a man for real? Oh gosh, I'll tell you this. I would have um my Rolodex of women would be would be a lot. Um really? I'd definitely be a bachelor. <laughs> I I hate to say it, I would be a player. <laughs> yeah. Really? I would be a player and um I I would definitely use my charm to get what I want. Um, not just from women, but just in life, you know, and, and not only that, like, oh gosh, I could name so many things if I was a man diva, I, I would just be like the coolest guy ever. You know, you would never call me a jerk or an asshole. I would just be just really smooth, you know, and I would treat every, I would treat every woman the same and that, and, and but in a good way, you know, I would make every woman feel like. I like them, you know, but still not giving them the message that I want to pursue them, but just, hey, Uncle Kel is a nice person. <laughs> right. Which which I guess you could do as a lady as well. Could you? Or no, you wouldn't want a lot of men around you. No, no, no. no. I just, and, and I'm not against women who want to have a lot of men around because, you know, you right. have uh, quite a few women who, who say, hey, if men could do it, why can't women do it? You know, right. which hey, why can't totally they? Yeah, I why got can't my ideas. They? I mean, medically, things go inside a woman. So just medically, biologically, it's not exactly sanitary for a woman to be having all these men come in and out like a truck stop. I, I don't recommend right. it. Right. Uh, that's the biggest reason. And that, emotional yeah. connections. They, they can't seem to break that oxytocin. So I don't think it's best for women to be all around. I don't think yeah. so. 
I totally agree with that. Um, because like you said, for medical reasons, that's the main one. And then right. the second one, you know, we, we, we risk pregnancy, you know, um, we risk a, a lot more other things than men do if we have mm -hmm. multiple partners. Um, and, and not only that, when we take trips to the gynecologist, it's not always a fun visit, you know? That's true. That's <laughs> you got all kind of different tools going in you and men don't have to do that. So um, that's why women should be very cautious who they sleep with and who you choose as your partner and try not to have too many of them, you know? Right. Um, hey. Especially if you give up your gynecologist, which I did, I got so many different bad recommendations that could have killed me or destroyed me for one gynecologist is very respected. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to go to the dentist and I'm just going to have people examine me from the neck up. Now, back to you, we're, we're going to get to our last question. This is a bit of a steamy and a, a controversial one, but here we go. All right. And you can feel free not to not to answer any question. You're a free woman. I respect you. I love your work. So now, ah, affirmations. Now, one of your songs, it says, I'm a big deal. Believe in the hut. Star of the show. Queen for a nut. Now, it says, what you would call it? Know about industry parties mingling at the bar with the biggest stars in the business. I remember this is your lyrics, not mine. Hosted a Diddy party in oh, Vegas. Dude. I knew someone oh. was going to bring that up. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Now, last question of the day. How was your experience in hosting a Diddy party? I will say this. The party was popping. It was sure. It was the NBA uh, All-Star in Vegas. And that was the only time they had it. That was the first time that they had the NBA All-Star game out there. Mm -hmm. And so I happened to work at the time I was working with Diddy's publicist and um, she had me uh, bring my TV show there. At the time I had a little public access show called Diva TV and I was doing red carpet interviews. And so um, the, the part that sucked at the time was it was a three day event. I was there opening night, but the second night when Diddy came, I missed him. I choose to go to the Liberace mansion and- oh. I, you know, was there for a while, but then I came back and actually was able to join the Diddy party. And I was on stage with Biz Marquee, um, a couple other DJs from the East Coast. And I remember I Diddy was just showing, it was huge. Diddy was showing everybody love. Now, you know, I don't know him personally. I just saw him from afar in the balcony every year or whatever. And right. I was on the stage. Um, but uh, he definitely was controlling the crowd, you know what I mean? And just, Showing love to with a gun, like like he did with Sean. Remember that Sean? <laughs> no, now we won't go there. <laughs> no, no, we we didn't catch any of that. No, nope, <laughs> so. right, right. <laughs> love Sean. Sorry, I, if I had to pick Sean or Diddy, I'm sorry. I'm going with Sean. I've been a big fan for over twenty oh, yeah. years. Love All Sean. Right. He's he's an amazing Diddy guy. Amazing soul. Did he control yeah. you? Oh, no, no. We we didn't get that close, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't even know if he actually saw me on the on the, on the the stage, you know, because we were, unless, you know, I was wearing a, a gold dress. I was really shimmery. Mm -hmm. and so, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe he saw me, maybe he didn't. But, um, mm -hmm. hey, right now, hopefully he did it. <laughs> or hopefully, I don't know. I guess you'd go either way. You could make any situation the right way because you are a magician like myself. And I bet you could make things work in your favor if you wanted them to. You're a smart lady. So on that note, we are way over time. But I had so many questions for you. I didn't even get to them all. Talented, talented woman. You, you identify as a woman? Yes, ma'am. Yes. You know, you, you never know these days. Got to ask, got to respect. So on the final notes, could you tell our listeners where to find you, all your socials, websites, anything you want them to know, go. Yes. You guys can find everything about me on my official website. It's keldamusic.com. That's K-E-L-D-A-M-U-Z-I-K.com. My socials are on there. My music, my videos, my TV shows, my films, updates on everything that I have going on. You can find it on the official keldamusic.com website. On step, I'll be tuning in. And that was it for our interview, Keldon Music. Now back to the studio with Mark Torres.